back in 2019, I made a video where I spent $20 in Seattle. I did a whole day just on 20 bucks. Since then, I have been dying to know, can you still get away with doing all of those things with just $20? Or have rising costs and inflation made it impossible to spend a day in a city on $20? So today, I'm taking 20 bucks and I'm going around and I'm gonna do all the same things and we're gonna see if it's possible. Now before we get started, let's play a little game of over under. I have the space needle behind me and I want you guys to guess in the comments. Do you think it costs over or under $20 to go up the space needle? Stay tuned till the end for the answer. First things first, I need to get $20 out. If you're looking to get cash out at Pike Place Market, right behind the market information sign, there is an ATM. Although a lot of places in Seattle these days actually don't accept cash. First stop was Three Sisters Bakery. It's the first woman owned bakery in Seattle. Fun fact, it is also stall number one in Pike Place Market. In 2019, I got a ham and cheese croissant for $3.50. They're actually sold out of the ham and cheese croissant, but I asked them. I have a question, how much do those cost? Okay, cool. It's now $4.50. And I instead got another pastry. This is the apricot strudel. So good. Browsing Pike Place Market is always a fun free thing that you can do. But if you do have money to spend, it's cool to know that what you're buying is supporting local. This is my friend Camilla. Camilla, say hello. Hi guys. Her family owns a business that primarily makes their income through having a stall at the market. It's pretty cool. Let me know if you guys want a video about Camilla and her family's business at Pike Place. I made it to the light rail station. Last time it was $5 for an adult, $3 for youth. Since I was on a budget, I thought I looked young enough to pass for 18, so I went with the youth. I think I'm gonna have to do that again today. Let's see here. Interesting. Okay, they've now changed it too. They took away the child fare, and now anyone 18 and under rides free. So technically, the price of a light rail ride is the same as four years ago. Since in the last video, I went with a youth. This time, I'm also going with a youth. So right now, we are actually under budget compared to four years ago. All right, we have made it to Capitol Hill, and I'm not gonna lie, after that very small breakfast, I'm already hungry for lunch. That was only $2. 11.25 and I'm almost through the day. Thank you. I got my dicks and I made it to Cal Anderson Park. My little cheeseburger was a dollar and five cents more. Usually dicks is pretty fair with their pricing. I used to think in and out was better than Dick's, but I think I've been in Seattle so long now, I actually think Dick's is better than in and out Now time for a little bit of window shopping in Capitol Hill before we head to the light rail for our next stop. Now off to the University of Washington. Nice little bike ride to Gasworks Park. We are here and we are going to be taking this trail right here. It's a walking and bike path. We found a rental bike from one of those app companies. This the specific one was called Ofo. Found an Ofo bike. It's pretty simple. Last time with the Ofo, my first ride was completely free. This time, Ofo is no longer. Lime charges you one dollar to start your ride, and then it's forty six cents per minute. So I'm actually not going to hop on one of these bikes. I'm going to find a bike on the trail because we have $12.45 left. We still need to eat dinner. I can't afford to waste time waiting at stoplights. Another free activity is just walking around the University of Washington campus. On a clear summer day, you're gonna head right towards the mountain. This is one of the best vantage points you can get of Mount Rainier.
I think this is the bike for us. I found a bike, it only has four miles of range on it, but it's only a mile and a half to Gasworks. The real issue is, I don't know if we can afford to take the bike the whole way there. So, given that it's $1 plus 46 cents a minute, I'm gonna give us six minutes on the bike, and that should equate to about $4. All right, let's go. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm just getting a shot of it. Didn't quite make it to Gasworks in six minutes, but we're getting pretty close. Not gonna lie, kind of sucks to have to walk right now. We have 0.4 miles left to go. Oh, found a snack. It is blackberry season right now. We have some perfectly good blackberries. What do you guys think? Is this a bad idea to eat this blackberry? I'm gonna do it. Very sour. Spent some time at Gasworks. The bike ride ended up being $4.65, so I'm now down to $7.80 left. I'm walking back to the light rail. We're headed back over to Pike Place to go to El Baracho for dinner. I just want you guys to know how easy it would have been for me to fake this, hop in an Uber and pretend like I walked it, but I'm not, I'm actually walking it. Still, still walking. Still, still tired. El Baracho last time its claim to fame was $1 tacos during happy hour. 450 beers, $4 margarita, and dollar and ten cent tacos. In 2019, I was able to get three tacos for three dollars and thirty cents and a pretty good margarita for four dollars. With tax, my dinner total was around ten dollars. I just made it for happy hour. I have a feeling that there's no way that's a thing anymore. And also, they transitioned to being plant based. So I'm now attempting to get a comparable meal, three tacos would be seven dollars and fifty cents. So I opted for the mini nachos, and I got the seven dollar cheapo margarita just to see if it was any good. It's actually pretty good. And with tax and a tip, my dinner total was $16. For honestly, not a lot of food that wasn't really that good. And with that, the total for 2023 was $28.43. There we have it, guys. I'm not actually gonna crumple this $20 bill. You cannot get away with spending just $20 in Seattle. Or can you? I do think you probably can, but we gotta switch up the itinerary a bit. So guys, let me know in the comments, would you like a new video where I try and spend just $20 in Seattle? Because if I'm being completely honest, this itinerary of the one that I did four years ago, it kinda sucks. It was not that fun. It was a lot of walking. It was not a lot of food. I was hungry and tired. I think we can do better, so let me know in the comments. Give this a thumbs up. If we can get to like 5,000 thumbs up, I'll go ahead and do that before the summer is over. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Now, if you guessed over, you were correct. It costs anywhere from 30 to $40 to go up the Space Needles. Insider tip for you, save your money and go up the Smith Tower instead. Sorry, sorry, Benjamin, or no. Sorry, who are you? Oh, why did I forget?